The results-driven Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce invites you to connect your business with a thousand other companies just like yours, including education and workforce development, health care, professional services, manufacturing, retail, nonprofit, trades and vocations, hospitality, among many others. And benefit with chamber programs and services such as government affairs, energy and economic development, small business assistance, networking opportunities, women in business programs, young people in business programs, and more. We invite your business to become a starring member of the Merrimack Valley Chamber today and see what a difference this chamber will make for you. Join your community's most trusted, effective, and relevant business network connection today. The Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce. Hello everyone, my name is Michael Bevilacqua. I'm the Vice President of the Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce and I would like to welcome you all to another edition of the Merrimack Valley Chamber Means Business Program. I'm here with a great guest today. I'm here with Sandra Freitas of uh, Millennium Cleaning Services. And Sandra, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Welcome. Um, so first off, tell everyone at home a little bit about yourself. Tell them what Mo Millennium Cleaning Services is and, and where you're located. Sure. So I'm Sandra Freitas, and I live in Methuen. I'm married, and I have two daughters. And uh, my husband and I started this company, Millennium Cleaning, over 15 years ago. And we do commercial cleaning, office cleaning, um, and we also do electros electrostatic spraying, disinfection spraying. We also use a Protex product, which is a 90-day um, disinfection um, product that stays on the surface for up to 90 days, and um, it's a revolutionary product. And we also do window cleaning, floor maintenance, and other services as well uh, in the Merrimack Valley. Um, north of Boston, southern New Hampshire, and other areas in Massachusetts. So you can service businesses, and in, 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 do you say homes as well, or just residential? Or, or business? Just residential. Okay, I so mean, you can, commercial. Commercial, sorry. I'm sorry. You do not do residential. So you can yeah. do commercial in all those different areas you talked about. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, so north of Boston, surrounding Boston, Merrimack Valley, and into southern New Hampshire. Perfect. Well, mm -hmm. it's a family-owned business you mentioned, you and your yeah. husband, Joe, mm -hmm. and you started 15 years ago. I'm curious, what made you start, uh, you and Joe start the Millennium Cleaning Services? Well, um, we wanted to be entrepreneurs. We wanted to be yes. our own bosses, you know. Um, uh, he was in banking. I was a paralegal. We had um, purchased a small business, a retail type of business mm -hmm. that didn't go so well. Okay. Um, and we decided that, but it gave us the drive to do something else. You learn from your mistakes sometimes. Yes, exactly. So yep. it gave us that motivation. Um, we learned from the mistakes, but it gave us the motivation and we knew we could do something else if we really wanted to. So um, we decided to do a commercial cleaning company. And 15 years later, you're still here, so. <laughs> yeah, here we are. So cleaning services, that seems like a very broad uh, description of what you are. Why don't you tell everyone at home the different services that are offered, that, that are available to their businesses? So um, besides the commercial cleaning, we also do um, a trash valet and concierge type of um, business. We've um, where you can hire us and we will come to your um, properties, your buildings, condo associations, and you leave, if you leave your um, garbage out or any type of service like that, okay. um, items like that, we will come and pick them up yep. and dispose of them. We also do window cleaning and um, apartment cleaning turnovers. So we have sure. a lot of clients that are property managers for different um, businesses and apartments. So we do those. Um, yeah. So a number of different a services number available. Number of different things. And I'm, cu I'm curious, I know with COVID that just came you know, a couple of mm -hmm. years ago, I'm sure that changed your business. I remember you were advertising COVID cleaning as well, correct? Correct, yes. And um, when COVID hit, we were prepared for it because it was something we were already doing for other clients, oh, wow. for a lot of our um, medical facilities, and we were already spraying for them. So when COVID hit, for us is actually helped us a lot huh. because but we were in, in an advantage because we were already ready we had the equipment we had the experience and the technic um the techs to do the work so um it really really catapulted us into a different sure level. no that's mm -hmm. great because you know when covid came you heard these you know companies uh, out of nowhere saying oh we yeah. can do covid cleaning we know right. we can do this but <laughs> exactly. they didn't really know that they didn't who knew right. who knew if they actually knew what they were doing if they mm -hmm. had the actual services but you and your husband joe you've been in the business for 15 years now doing this thing year after year after year right. you had the experience and you had the tools to do it yeah so we were excited about that 
because you know sometimes Joe has these ideas and I'm and I say oh my gosh I don't know <laughs> about this what is this spraying gun yeah. thing yeah who knew but, who knew what it would um, become so from now now I I listen to him more <laughs> when he has a, a new idea it's the one good thing that came out of COVID, yeah yes, so. <laughs> exactly so um, it helped us a lot and um, it uh, helped us also find other ways to do the disinfection something that you know with the Protex products that we use like I told you it lasts longer mm -hmm. so um, you still use a spray gun but this particular product lasts longer on the surface so once you clean it and you use it it stays on the surface for up to 90 days okay and um, a lot of our clients even though vaccinations with the vaccinations um, it has slowed that down a bit However, a lot of our clients are still doing it because they recognize that a lot of their employees are not calling in sick. Yeah. They're healthier. So they're keep like, them in the office. we're going to keep doing this. Yeah. So it's great. No, it's, it is great. And, uh, you know, you mentioned you had a, a previous business that you sta started mm -hmm. before this uh, business. I'm just curious, you know, for the entre entrepreneurs watching from home, what are some of the lessons you learned from that that you're able to carry through that have been successful with Millennium Cleaning? One, I think, is definitely patience, Okay. <laughs> a lot of patience. Um, and I think um, the biggest lesson that we learned was not trusting so much in something that, may, that um, people tell you because we trusted in a lot of the claims that were told and given to us. And there was a lot of misrepresentation, sure. even in documents. Yep. So you have to be skeptical when you're looking, if you're looking to buy a business, Definitely be skeptical and don't trust everything you read. Don't so. trust everything they give you. Yeah, and really get the support and tools, um, lawyers, accountants, all of that, um, to really help you. No, make I think sure that's, that that's what the, that their the claims are correct. And no, true. it's a gr great lesson for people watching at home that might mm -hmm. be entrepreneurs that might be thinking about going into a business that might even be having a business right now. It's great to learn that, and it's also great to hear that. You know, you had a business that didn't really do as well as you were hoping, but now, 15 years later, mm -hmm. you've had a business that's succeeded, and, yeah. it, and it's, you know, put, put you and mm -hmm. Joe, you know, into a, uh, into a great role here at Millennium yeah. Cleaning Services, and I think it's such a great thing. And you mentioned, you know, Millennium Cleaning's been in business for 15 years now. What do you think separates you from co competition? What do you think makes you have people call you back and again and again and again for all these great services? I think it's our... Um our not only our commitment um, but our personable um, connections Joe does a lot of the pricing he goes out he meets with the clients mm -hmm. and um, we keep that personal communication between our clients you know we don't just hand them off to someone we do have night managers but we handle all of the operations um, and we hire all of our employees in-house we don't subcontract work and we just stay in touch and we keep on top of everything. Every little thing, um, Joe is in contact with our client, with the employee, mm -hmm. something. And there's always changes, you know, clients will, can you do this, can you do sure. that, or yep. we need this, and we're always, always on top of it. So it's not a one size fits all model for your businesses mm -hmm. that you work with. It's, it's an right. individual, mm -hmm. you see their needs, you ask them what their wants are, and then you yeah. proceed from there. Exactly. So. And a lot of our business comes from referrals, so it has to say a lot about it. <laughs> yeah. Most of our business comes if, from If referrals. you're doing something, that means you're doing something right. If you're doing something wrong, yeah. then no one's going to refer you mm -hmm. to their friends or family. And I think that makes all the difference right there. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you mentioned you work with commercial businesses. Uh, what are some of the business, not to name any specific business, sure. what are some of the industries that you work in? So people watching home, they might say, I wonder if they can do my business. Oh, I mean, such a vast business? range. Yeah. I mean, medical facilities, dental offices. Um, we have gyms. We have nursing homes. Office and buildings. And then prof office buildings, professional buildings. Yep. Um, we work with real estate developers who own a ton of buildings and apartments. Um, we've started working with Manzo, Freeman Development, yes. Zudo Management. So um, very large companies. So it doesn't matter what the, what the business small. is, you're able to right. have something mm -hmm. that fits every, every need then. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. so why don't you just tell everyone at home what the um, best way to, for them to contact you is, uh, if you have a website, social media, yeah. anything like that. Absolutely. So we're at millenniumcleaning.net, and you can email me if you have questions or need um, our services at sandra at millenniumcleaning.net. Perfect. And now, um, as you mentioned, you are an entrepreneur yourself. Mm -hmm. You do something on the on top of being with Millennium Cleaning, correct? Yes. So I'm also a real estate agent, a realtor. Um, my husband and I, Joe, we've been realtors for several years now as well. Okay. And so it 
works well some, with that as well. Yes. And um, we enjoy it. It's something that I really enjoy to do. Love helping people and helping them find their home. You know? Sure. Is that something you can intertwine with money and cleaning services as well? Sometimes it does, you know, sometimes we get business from both sides or depending on, um, I do focus mostly on residential yes. real estate, not okay, so, so much commercial. Changes so up a little bit. It's so. a little different, yeah. Now, you mentioned a few of the service areas you have on Millennium Cleaning Services. you mind just mentioning those again as well? Of course, sure. So the Merrimack Valley area, Boston and surrounding Boston, north of Boston and uh, North Shore in southern New Hampshire. Okay, and you mentioned mm -hmm. you know what you learned as an entrepreneur, but why do you enjoy being an entrepreneur? What what separates that? What made you really get, get into it? And what have you enjoyed after being an entrepreneur for so many years? I love the freedom. I love the flexibility. I mean, it is a lot of work. <laughs> and we, sometimes you think that when someone owns their own business that you know they can sit around and they're not doing much or they can just do whatever they want at any time. But it does give me the flexibility to schedule um, my work and my life in the way that I need to. Okay. And I love the freedom it gives me with my children. I'm able to be home with them um, more than I was when I sure. didn't own my own business. So I love the freedom and the flexibility and being my own boss. You know. Yeah, that sounds like a great, great deal <laughs> yeah. right there. So. Yeah. Um, and then you work with a number, you know, the ke the supplies that you work with, the chemicals, different stuff like mm. that. How do you how do you pick out which chemicals? How do you learn which one's the best for your, you and your business and, your, and the people you service? How, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of imitation ones out there. I'm sure there's a lot of ones that are better than others. How do you learn about what what the safest and best products are for for your customers? Well. Um we definitely, well, Joe, you know, de deals with all of the chemicals and okay. everything, but, um, you know, with experience using different things. And also, we've used this a lot of the um, local companies that help us, Conlin Products, okay. and some other um, companies that are really knowledgeable, and they guide us very well in um, the different products. So and it's chemicals. great to be able to work to de together with other, like you mentioned, Conlin Products. Mm -hmm. It's great to be able to yeah. work together. Uh, collectively, and right. so every business grows uh, to get together. Yeah, we don't really do any generic type of products. We, um, from just trial and error and doing, and we stick to those. Sure. Mm -hmm. So as we begin to close out the episode, I'm just curious, if someone's thinking about using Millennium Cleaning Services, why would you say they should contact you, and why should they learn more about Millennium Cleaning? Or why should they choose you, I should say? Well, we're family run, but we're committed to what we do. We care about our clients. And um, we are personable. We're always 24-7. We answer the phone. Huh, we yeah. answer emails. And um, we are passionate about helping our clients. I think, that's, I think that's the key, what you mentioned right there. When someone calls the phone, they're not going to get a sales rep. They're going to get you or they're exactly. going to get Joe. So mm -hmm. if they have, if they, which they probably wouldn't, but if they had a problem, they wouldn't have to worry about it. They'd be able to talk to you, the owners, directly. Exactly. If they had a question or concern, they could talk to you directly. I think that's the thing that separates, you know, mm -hmm. family-run business, which is right. a great opportunity for sure. So, yeah. so one more time, tell everyone at home how to contact you. Uh, best number, best website, best sure. anything else you like to add. Our phone number is 978-837-1955. Our website is millenniumcleaning.net and my email is sandra at millenniumcleaning.net. You can also find us on Facebook and on Instagram at Millennium Cleaning. So. Perfect. Well, I just want to say thank you again. I, re I really think it's a great story, especially thank where you. you came, you know, you and Joe, your husband, you, you, you started a business, didn't really work out, but you, you took the things that you learned from that business, you brought them into Millennium Cleaning Services, and here you are. 15 years later, yeah. you, you know, you continue to grow and, and continue to do better than ever. So I want to say you. thank you for being part of the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It was a great time. Perfect. <laughs> well, thank you to you and Joe. Thanks. Thank you to all watching our first segment. We'll be back with a great uh, uh, other segment for the Merrimack Valley Chamber of Means Business Program. But if you ever have any questions, if we can be of any assistance, make sure to contact us, 978 686 0900 MerrimackValleyChamber.com. And I just want to say thank you to Sandra again. And Thanks. we'll see you in the next segment. Thanks, Michael. Thank you.